What's Cooking in the Cauliflower Kitchen. Today, I'm so excited, it's Stephanie with Rachel, all the way from woo, Portland. She flew in this morning. Flew in this morning, just to be with you. Awesome, we're so excited. Today, Rachel, I am so excited to show you that we've got some really innovative and creative ways to use the crust. I love it. You know, I mean, this is beautiful. I just can't stop staring at it first off, but um, you know, there's a ton of gluten-free products on the market. There's a ton of gluten-free pizza crusts on the market. And we are gluten-free, of course, and we have no added sugar and we're non-GMO, super healthy. And we love that there's so many healthy products on the market. But we also want to share how these crusts are incredibly unique. Now, one, they're incredibly low carb. So an entire nine inch crust, how many carbs does that baby have? It only has three veggie carbs, so three net carbs. Once you take out the fiber, because they have a ton of fiber in them, because we also use fresh cauliflower, yep. um, which is amazing. They're also low calorie and only four simple ingredients. And as you can see here, they are used for so much more than pizza crust. Right. I don't see one single pizza crust or pizza. I see pizza crust. I don't see pizza here on the counter. Why is that? Well, because our crusts become a canvas, a culinary canvas for what you want to, you know, kind of make them into. What I really love about cauliflower pizza crust, number one, we use fresh ingredients. So let's not forget that. Our crusts are we set apart fresh. from everybody else's that we use fresh, clean ingredients, four simple ingredients. Fresh cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, eggs, and seasoning. So these bad boys at 190 calories for the entire crust is just amazing, right? So we've kind of taken it down a road that can show you the versatility of the crust. Um, today I'm going to show you, instead of just boring, you know, croutons, we can use our crust with soup. So you can top your soup with croutons that way, and then we can make like toast points with our crust. So you're, you're basically just cutting out the carbs, right? You're like, okay, I don't want to have like the bloated belly because yeah. of all the carbs yeah. and all the gluten. Right. I'm going to find different ways to do it. And I mean, these are, these are pizza crusts. Look at that. It looks like a beautiful breadstick right. and it's super healthy. I love it. And the presentation is amazing. It's like fancy. I love right. it. Well, I think a lot of us today are making that switch, right? To mm -hmm. eating healthier, eating cleaner and knowing where our food is sourced from. So the wonderful thing about our crust is that, you know, again, it's local, it's mm -hmm. fresh, it's clean, and we can take it and meld it into kind of our traditional like items like the croutons or sandwich or bread. But we, again, we're removing the gluten so we can eat. And also we eat with our eyes. I go, I, I know that if I came to the table and it was boring, kind of monochromatic, you know, the same old thing, I'm not interested in it. What I like about our crust is that we can make them into something pretty mm -hmm. unique and then make them fresh. Bring in the clean ingredients. I mean, hello, who doesn't want to, you know, sink their teeth into this? <laughs> so, Rachel. I have a question. So there's a lot of people at home who already enjoy our crust. Yeah. Do you just cook it the same way as you would a pizza crust? Like, how do you get it to be like a beautiful breadstick? Is there anything special or magical that you have to do inside of the oven? Well, I don't know if it's magical, but what we need to do is like demonstrate how you could crisp them up and make them into the croutons, okay. make them into the salad points, and maybe into a crust for your you know sandwich. So, hey, show me. All right. I'm excited. Using my handy dandy pizza cutter, I'm going to show you how to make some croutons. So essentially, we're going to make a grid fashion okay. on our crust before we cook them. Okay, our oven is preheating at 375. We're going to get in here and just make a grid. So going across one direction, right? And so doing it before cutting it before you cook it, that makes them extra crispy, right? Absolutely, because then you're going to get the crisp on all those you know angles that everybody wants. So we're just going to go through like that. And voila, your crust is cut into nice, happy little uh, crouton sized pieces. And so you just stick that on a, on like a pizza pan yep. or a cookie sheet yep. or whatever you have handy. All right, like so that. just like this, we're gonna top it on our vented pan. Yeah, it's so easy. Kind of spread them out so that no one is on top of each other here. And throw that bad boy into the oven, 375, and crisp them up. You know, we're gonna watch it. Typically we say about, what, 12 minutes? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it just it depends on how crispy you want the crust. Um, I like them a little chewy in the middle, so I'll and I like, like mine extra crispy. So, so it's really our preference. So right? maybe <laughs> around 12, you know, 14 minutes for me, and maybe a little longer for you. Gotcha. It just, you know, again, the variant is your oven, so you want to just kind of play with it. The fun thing about it is that you know these guys really do, you know, lend to us playing with them. Okay, so making the other points, I can just show you how I did those as well. So I just kind of came across my crust and made triangles. So going across, just like this. Easy as that. Okay, so I'll pull that apart. I love how you topped avocado on that. That looks amazing. Yeah. 
So again, same concept. You're just going to cut them into kind of triangular pieces, and then they become our crouton, like our croutons or breadsticks. Okay. So, so tasty. I'm gonna throw this guy over here. And you have an actual sandwich here. This looks like a grilled cheese. I don't know if you guys can see the beauty of this, but I see melted cheese and my heart starts pounding. I love it. I love it. That. So I love that. So I went ahead and put together a grilled cheese sandwich. What better like, to go with my uh, tomato bisque? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my tomato bisque in there. Uh, this is fall food. Mm -hmm. I can eat this every day for yeah. lunch. All right, and then, you know, that's just happy and wonderful, but we can always add more, right? So let's add a little bit of goat cheese, because goat cheese is fantastic. It's a little goat cheese bomb right yeah, there. That's right. <laughs> I love and it. then, you know, I'm a fan of basil, and so I'm gonna chop up some basil, kind of add that to that as well. So again, you can go this direction, and, um, you know, you can throw croutons on that. You can have it with a sandwich. Awesome. Um, our salad looks a little naked because, you know, what do we need? We need some croutons. So I'm going to come over here and grab some of my crisps. She's getting some crisps. I have to have a crunchy salad. I, it's, um, it makes or breaks the salad for me. So this is right. fantastic. This is so important. I'm all about texture. So, again, we went ahead and take those little squares after they came in the oven and made them into our croutons. Again, see, nice and crispy. Oh. For all of you guys out there that are questioning, does it ever get crispy? All right. It gets crispy, okay? So good. So there we go. I can't get enough of this. So you made a grilled cheese sandwich, you made a salad with croutons, you've got a salad and a soup and a beautiful avocado toast there. Mm -hmm. You've got a music breadsticks and his little mini croutons here. Is there anything this pizza crust cannot be? I think not. No, I don't think so. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, well thanks Rachel. I love it. Oh, I didn't even have a hug. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so again, follow us and enjoy us. Subscribe. That's right, subscribe because next week we'll have something new and innovative that you'll want to check out. So again, so thank you for checking out what's cooking in the Cauliflower Kitchen. <laughs>